I'm a girl. I don't mow the lawn. You know, that's a, that's a manly chore. My first assignment that I had was vacuuming the main level, and I kind of felt like that's a woman's job. You must do this a lot at home? Nope. Janie is always constantly right behind you. I'm done. Did you vacuum underneath the dining room table? Once we finished the work inside, we all went outside, so there were other things to do. Ronnie and Chrissy were not doing their chores with enthusiasm. They're used to not doing much and being given everything. Nobody's gonna take a break till everybody takes one. I am in the shade. Did you just say you want to be in the shade? Yeah. I like that. No matter how many leaves we picked up, it seems like there was still like, I felt like it was never ending. This is cool. I was just so fed up because no matter what we did, there's just another chore and another chore. Come on, everyone's got to help out. Come on, Dad. Yeah, I know. What's up, Dad? What's up, Mom? Why aren't you guys doing anything? Yeah, no one takes a break till everyone takes a break. I'm not sure. Knock it off right it now. When I saw Chrissy and Ronnie being rude to my pants, I'm just, I was just like shaking my head. It's not going to get them very far. 20 push-ups, nice and easy. Maybe you'll be out of breath, and then you won't be able to talk. Come on, get over here. Let's go, do them, get them done. You're just being rude and disrespectful, so you can do some push-ups. Ronnie also gave me some attitude, and he had to do push-ups. This is so much Three, better than ranking these leaves. Four, and so you can do 20, because these feel so right, good. Yeah, let's go. Nine, ten, there you go, good. Now, <laughs> I asked you to do the push-ups, and it's because of the mouth. I'll split them with you, because okay. I want to do some more. Ronnie, you be quiet and stay out of it, So okay? you can do 10 more, because of your mouth and it has nothing to do with her. Okay, come here. This is so ridiculous. There you go, now you just got yourself 10 more. I was standing there, she got mad at me because I was standing there and you were just standing there. No, it was because of your mouth. So now it's 30. Get in push-up position. Ready, go. I'll time you to see how strong you are. It's a nice little ab workout. So now that's 40. I'm not doing 40 push-ups, sorry. Now you're at 50. This is not my favorite use of my time, okay? But you have a mouth, okay? And you need to control it. But I was just kidding, and you guys took but, it like all But personally. see, that's, that's the part that's disrespectful. That's what you haven't learned. Sarcasm is a cowardly way to attempt humor. Cowardly way. It is. And it's a way basically to get a little dig in. When you talk to people, you talk to them with respect. You're staying here in the sun. I'm not standing in the sun either. You know what, girlfriend? Get out of my house. You can go stand out in the cul-de-sac, out in the sun, but you're not gonna stay here and disrespect me and tell me what's going on. You can get out of my face, go get out in the front yard, okay? okay. <sighs> you know, I mean, I know that she's not used to doing stuff and I know she's not used to speaking to somebody with respect. I certainly think that this was a shock to Chrissy's system. She is stubborn and persistent. Why do you want, why do you act like this? It's my personality. Like, I'm sarcastic to people. I'm joking. I'm not serious about it. I'm, we, don't, you know? we don't appreciate that type of humor, obviously. Well, you've got some punishment to do, and you need to decide, you know, when you're going to do it. I can't even do, like, 20 push-ups. I mean, barely. The compromise I'll make for, with you is I'll let you do them with your knees down. I feel like Jim is a lot more reasonable. <sighs> Because I feel like Janie, like, she's real stubborn. She doesn't want to give in. 18, 19. There's a lot better ways to handle things. That's what Ronnie and Chrissy need to learn. Oh, I'm tired. While Jim had Chrissy outside, uh, Ronnie and I were talking inside and just talked about the way he talks to people. Would you talk to a teacher like that? My teachers yeah. love me, yeah, honestly. Uh, I don't know why. That's a good question. I, I really don't know why. Probably because I have a good personality. Mm -hmm. He's just really full of himself, and I think that um, his parents have created a, a little world where Ronnie's king, and uh, now that Ronnie's getting older, it's probably not a pretty picture. I'm living the life until I got out here. Uh -huh. And your parents, what, what do they say about you living the life? For the most part, I get along with them. Mm -hmm. They just give me everything I want, the way it should be until I'm 18. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I felt like, boy, here's a kid with a lot of potential, but really immature, and that although he might not realize it now, but he certainly would in the long run, that we were in charge of our house and that he was going to play by our rules.